Hello guys, we are back on JN Graphic Tutorials and in this session we are going to develop a church flyer but before then, if you are new here, I just want you to consider subscribing to JN Graphics for more amazing graphic design tutorials and if you are old here, I just want to thank you. So in this session, we are going to develop a church flyer design so let's get inside Photoshop and start developing our amazing church flyer design so first of all let's open to the photoshop so i will begin by clicking on the new file then i'll make sure that i set my file so in this part i just want to set my width to 1100 and the height also to be 1100 then i will leave the resolution to be 300 then i will leave it in pixels then i'll head on then i will just create my background so guys this is the background that we are going to work on for our today's session of tutorial but before then i just want to go to my view and go to my guys and go to my new guide layout so that i will just know that everything that i'm just doing is just in alignment so I just want to apply this. So we are going to begin with creating our document. So first of all, I just want to create a solid background for our flyer. So I will just go to this panel here and go to my solid color. Then I just want to type a color of a code FC. Let it be a capital. So FC, FB. F6. So this is the code that I just want us to use for our solid background. So after I'm done with this, I will start importing the resources. So first of all, I just want to go to my place link. Then I go to where my files are. So these are the files that we are going to use for our today's session of the tutorial. So first of all, I just want to head on to import my first resource. So this is the resource that I just want to import so I make sure that it takes the entire background like this then I will select it and I will make sure that I change the blending option to linear band so I will just change it to linear band linear band like this so this is what actually I just wanted to do so after I'm done with this I just want to duplicate the background or i just want to duplicate the image that i have just imported so ctrl plus j will let me duplicate it then i will just select the duplicate one and go to my eraser then i will just rasterize the background then i make sure that i clean over the top of the duplicate so i, I just want to clean on top of the duplicate like this so this is what i actually want to do so this is what we will have by now so after i'm done with this i just want to create a new layer so i will just go to this panel here and just click on it once then i will have my new layer on top of all the resources that i have just done with them so after i'm done with that i'll just select the layer and go to my brushes then I will just pick my brush. I make sure that the size of the brush is 1811. This is the size of the brush that I am going to work with. Then I make sure that the hardness of the brush is 0%. Then I make sure that I take a white color. Then I just click on OK. So I will just come to the center of the flyer like this and create this effect on the center so after i'm done with this i will just proceed on and do another thing so i'll go to my file again and go to my place link and this time i just want to bring this thing here i make sure that it takes the entire background like this then i make sure that i change the blending option to something like overlay so this is what actually I will have by now so after I'm done with this I just want to add some typography to it so that it will look so amazing and so beautiful so I will just go to my typing tool and pick my typography tool and create my test boss so 
I just want to type something like worship. I will make sure that I use a color code for the typography. So I just want to use this color for the typography. 3C1303. So this is the color that I just want to use for the typography. Then I hit on OK. Then I will continue on and type my worship in capital. So I will type worship like this then i'll select it go to my test panel i make sure that the size of the test is actually 30 then i make sure that the height of the test should be 120 so 120 like this then i just change it to black italic so this is what actually i just want to do so let me change the height of the test to 120 like this so this is what actually i just want to do something like this very nice and beautiful so i just want to tilt it like this a little bit like this so that we have an effect like this very nice and beautiful so after i'm done with this i just want to add some effects to the worship so i will just select the worship and go to my effect panel and add some strokes to it so i will add a stroke to it about nine or let me reduce it to about six something like this then i just hit on my okay then i'll come to the effect again and add drop shadow to it so this is what actually i just want to do very nice and beautiful then i hit on ok so after i'm done with this i will just select my worship ctrl j to duplicate it and bring the other worship down like this very nice and beautiful then i will select the duplicate one and i just want to type something like prayer very nice and beautiful so after I'm done with typing with this, I will just make sure that I position it very well. So I will just select the prayer and the worship like this. Then I will just push them a little bit upwards so that it will look more nice and more beautiful. So now I just want to add something like this also onto it. So I just want to add something like this. So I will select it and give it a different color so let me give it a color like this so that it will look more amazing and beautiful so i think a color like this is cool so i will just pick a color like this then i will just place it on top of it so i will just add the same effect to this thing that i have just made so i will give it a stroke a little stroke like this then I'll give it a drop shadow also to make it more beautiful and awesome. So I can still select it and give it a very, change the color to something like this so that at least it will look more awesome. So this is what actually I just want to do. Very nice and very attractive. So I can go on and let me reduce the size of the test so that it will look awesome i think this is more beautiful so this is what we are going to use for now so i just want to add some few typography to it so i just want to write something like night select it and go to my test panel this time i just want to reduce the test height to 77 like this then i reduce the color to the same color of this then let me reduce let me change it from bold to regular so that we will have something like this very nice and beautiful then i will just resize it a little bit like this and i'll just push it just under the worship and prayer so it will just look like worship and prayer very nice and very very beautiful so now after we are done with this I will go on and import another resource so I just want to go and import this bed 
here so i would just reduce the size of the bed and place it on top like this very nice and very beautiful so after i'm done with this i will continue on to import more resources so i will just go to my file go to my place link then i just bring this thing here i make sure that this thing takes the entire background like this very nice and very beautiful so i just want to change it to something like overlay so that we will change the whole effect of the background to make it look very nice and very very awesome so after we are done with this i will go on and import the minister so i just go to my file again go to my place link and import my minister in very nice and very very beautiful so i just want to re increase the size of it a little bit like this very nice and very very awesome after i'm done with this i just want to add the name of the minister so i just want to type something like minister Parkey Junior something like this so I will just select it and make sure that it is a very low font so I will give it a very low font like this very nice and beautiful so i can go on and change it from regular and make it either medium or bold depending on how you like it so i just want it like medium so i will just create a little box here a rectangular box here like this then i will just bring my the name of the minister on top so i'll just go here and pull it on top of the box to make it look like this very nice and very awesome so i can also write something like in small letters with so i'll select it and change my font to better saturday like this very nice and beautiful so I just want to add some few effect to it so I'll add some drop shadow to it then I'll add some swipe strokes also to it to make it more awesome and beautiful so I'll just pull it on top here to make it more beautiful here very nice and awesome so now after we are done with this I just want us to add some effect to the minister so we can go on and go to our file and go to our place link and this time i just want us to bring this side this thing inside so i just want us to locate first where the minister is so this is the minister then i'll just pull it on top of the minister like this then i just want to change it to something like screen to create an effect like this very nice and very awesome so now this is how our flyer is looking very attractive and very very beautiful so now we'll go on and create some circles we'll add some circles to it so i just want to add a circle like this very nice and very awesome so after i'm done with this i will select this circle go to my blending option then i just go to my ingredients and give it a gradient color like this so these are the gradient colors that i chose for this circle so i chose d9854a for my first gradient then i chose the other color to be like ec1303 for the other gradient so these are the gradient that i used for my circle so after this i just want to duplicate the circle ctrl j to duplicate it and bring the other one down then i just want to increase the 
down one to a size like this so on the circles that i'm going to write my date and my time so i just want to pick my typography tool and write the time of the program so let's change the font to something like roboto and start typing so i just want to write something like 7 p.m like this then i'll select it i make sure that it is actually a bold font and it is also a white font like this so i'll just pull it on top of the flyer so i can just increase it a little bit like this then i go on and type something like sharp so i i will change it to a regular font then i'll, I'll just decrease it a little bit and pull it just under the time so i can just decrease the size of it a little bit then i just pull it just under the time like this to make it more awesome and beautiful now it has left with our date so i just want to type something like friday like this so i will just make sure that it is actually a shortcut like this then I will go on and write something like 15th I will select it and make sure that it is actually a bold font like this so I can just increase the size of the 15 a little bit like this so that it may look more awesome and beautiful so I go on and type my month so it is actually going on july so i'll just bring it just under the 15th like this then i type the year so i just want to type something like 23 and full stop like this so i'll just bring it down here and i just want to increase the size of it like this so that everything will just look perfectly and awesome just under here so now after we are done with this i just want us to do a little effect to what we have just done so i just want us to draw a circle like this a circle like this then i want us to give it a stroke so we will actually give it something like this a stroke like this then let me decrease the stroke to about four like this then i will select the circle and make sure that the field is zero percent so this is what the effect that i actually want to create so i will just increase it like this so that it will just come around our circle to make it more awesome and more beautiful so i can go on ctrl plus j and do the same thing to this circle too so i just want to increase it like this so that we will have an effect like this very awesome and very very beautiful so now this is actually how our flyer is looking like very very amazing and beautiful so we will go on and import other resources so i just want us to bring this one here the location symbol so i will just decrease it, the size of the location symbol so i can bring a ruler here so that i everything will just be in alignment for me so this is what actually i just want to do so i just bring it under here and i'll start typing the location so i just want to type something like let me first of all change it to a color like this then i type something like cavalry worship center so i just want to type something like this very nice and beautiful then i just 
decrease the size a little bit like this so I can also go on and select it and go to my test panel here and I just want to type 5 to this space so that I will have something like this very nice and beautiful so now after I'm done with this I just want to type also to add to the information something like new new doma something like this to make it more awesome and beautiful so I can just change the color to something like this and just bring it just under the cavalry worship center to make it more awesome and very beautiful so now this is how our flyer is looking like very amazing so it has left with few things to go so i just want to go to my place link and bring my last resource so which is the logo of the church so i just want to bring this logo here so i will just place it on top here then i just type something like Mount Calvary Church, something like this. Then I just want to reduce the size to this. Then I just place it on top. So this is how our flyer is looking like very awesome and very, very amazing. So now this is how our flyer is looking like very awesome and very very amazing so you can go ahead and download the resources that i have just placed in the link below and you can just study this tutorial and make something similar out of it or study various way of creating church backgrounds so i just want to thank you for your participation and I just want to say God bless you and we are going to meet at another tutorials again but I just want to remember you if you haven't subscribed to the channel I just want you to subscribe to the channel so that you'll be notified of many tutorials that I will be making so thank you very much and we are going to meet in another session of tutorial bye bye